Maybe you can do it. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We got it. What's up, guys? Before we get into the video, I just want to say that the gameplay you're looking on your screen is by me. Now, my feelings toward Street Fighter V is not because I suck or anything. This game is actually pretty easy to do well at online, but I don't own it anymore. So if you want to play me, I'm sorry, but uh, you kind of can't. Um, I'm, I'm going to explain my reasoning right now, but I just want to let you guys know that it's not because I suck at Street Fighter V. I got an easy 15 win streak. The game is pretty easy to do well at. Just People just do random shit. But uh, yeah, anyways, here's what I actually want to talk about. I know I haven't made a video in a little bit, but please let me explain why. I have been let down so much, so much uh, recently with Metal Gear Solid V and Street Fighter V. These are two games I love. No, there are two series and franchises that I love and I've been waiting for it for years. So when Metal Gear Solid 5 dropped, which is my favorite franchise of all time, I was so let down. I was so let down Metal Gear Solid 5. It was an incomplete game. It should not have been released the way it was, but we all know what happened to Ikojima and Konami and it's obvious Metal Gear Solid 5 was rushed and it had so much cut content. The meat of the game was gone. You know, it, it was completely a wreck. And they even had the audacity to release Chapter 3, you know, what was going to happen in Chapter 3 in an incomplete, long-ass cutscene. You know, and it, it's it, it's ridiculous, you know, how Metal Gear Solid 5 was treated. My favorite franchise of all time was a letdown. You know, at, at first when I beat the game, um, I still loved it. But after a while, I replayed it and I actually thought about it, how the ending came out of nowhere and there was no reason for it to end in that fashion. I'm not saying the way it ended was bad, but how it ended was bad. The ending came out of nowhere because I'm, I'm pretty sure because the mission was cut out. That ending was probably supposed to come at the end of chapter three and somehow you obtain this tape. You know, that's it, it. That bothers me so much, guys. It's. It's crazy how much that bothers me. You know, and then you have Street Fighter V, which released not too long ago, right? Like Metal Gear Solid V, Street Fighter V's gameplay was on point. It was perfect, but it was incomplete again. You know, um, the story mode, the quote-unquote story mode we got for Street Fighter, the one we have now anyways, it's shit. An infant beat it. I'll have that video on your screen. An infant beat Metal Gear Solid 5, beat Street Fighter 5, excuse me. I've been let down so much, guys. Um, the free DLC that's supposed to come this summer with the full-fledged story mode and like a couple of characters, that that was intended. It was, it was obviously intended to be with the release of Street Fighter 5, but again, they rushed it out for a profit. That's why they rushed out Street Fighter V. I expected the game to come out in summer. You know, when this DLC is supposed to come out, I expected it to come out in summer 2016. You know, don't release a game and then bring in the rest of the game later. This is not a $60 game. This is at least $20 game. You know, they took off all the offline modes except for survival, which is boring as fuck. You know? Please give me arcade mode. Give me my character endings. Don't alienate people outside of the esports community for fighting games. You know, like I, I, I like going in Street Fighter, um, Street Fighter tournaments. I do. You know, I'm one of those esports people who follow these guys and everything. But I still want my offline modes, and people around the world want their fucking offline modes. This is the biggest backlash Capcom has for Street Fighter Five is the fact that they took out all the offline modes. They took out arcade mode. And you know what they said? They said we'll look into it as if maybe we'll put in arcade mode, as if it's not important. You know, man, these games have been letting me down left and right. I've been waiting for Street Fighter V and Metal Gear Solid V for years. Metal Gear Solid V was like six to seven to six years, I believe. Um, I believe that the game, Street Fighter, um, Metal Gear Solid V was um, confirmed to be in development and around 2009, 2010, and Street Fighter 4 has been out since fucking forever. So I've been waiting for the sequels for so long, and I got shit. 
So what do I what do I do what do I um look towards the future? You know, looking towards the future, what do I think? The only two games right now I will wait for is Resident Evil 2 Remake as well as uh Mass Effect Andromeda. You know, um but I've been let down so much I cannot help but to have negative thoughts towards Resident Evil 2 Remake and Mass Effect Andromeda. And I'll explain that into my next video. I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces.